March 9th, Night Attack is taking over South by Southwest. Go to southbysowasted.com to get tickets for our, our big, big live show. Our opening song is called Beers That Make You Go Hmm. It's from Stephen Cogswell. Get it at otfeet.com slash beers. Bringing the lager was good. Bringing the accordion, that was the mistake. Hot yeah. Hot yeah. <laughs> Hot yeah. All right, so what we're starting off here first, I'm not going to give you too many details if you're going to be naming it all. Now, these all do have names. This is just a nice, good old-fashioned uh, American-Mexican lager. Lager? Uh, yeah, lager, dude. Yeah, lager in the butt. <laughs> Slide into those BMs. <laughs> Here's the thing to go. Here's the thing to go. Here's the thing to go. The commissar's in town. Boy, babe, what can I get you? I'm a tender yeah. at this bar. Oh, I'll take the big, loud fat man or something. <laughs> to be clear, the full title is quotation mark. I'm sorry, Colin. Charlie, who? Uh, in small print underneath, I don't know who you're talking about. I can taste all the regret. Here's the thing to go. Here's the thing to go. Here's the thing to go. Weed water's a bit. You know, uh, alcoholic water is a thing happening right now. Oh, uh, hold on. Weed water is a thing. Wait. Pop water is a thing. Well, wait, hold on. Now, alcoholic water is a thing. Don't fuck with me. Here's the thing to go. Here's the thing to go. Here's the thing to go. Man, this bit has no ending. I'm done talking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> OMG, hot yeah! It is Tuesday night. That's international superstar Stephen Cogswell. I'm Brian Rushwood, live in Austin, Texas. Joining you, as always, to set fire to the internet with my BFF and OAK. It's JRY, Justin Robert Young. We, uh, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? Oh, my God, Brian. Uh, this is amazing, man. We, we got we got so much going on here. Uh, uh, we are just less than, less than two weeks away. Uh, we only got one, but this is the last show I'm going to do in Oakland before I come on out to Texas for uh, freaking for night day. Freaking February, man. Sneaks up on you. It's just like, like, oh, that's all the way in March. And you're like, yeah, you mean Thursday? And you're like, oh, what? Huh? Uh, but yeah, no, it, it's 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 so awesome. South by So Wasted is right around the corner. Uh, we're going to plug this one early and often. Podcastlink.com slash night attack. Do yourself a fun little favor. And if you've got a voice assistant on your phone, go ahead and trigger it and just say podcastlink.com slash night attack. It's a science experiment that brings you to our ticket page. Get your tickets now. We are about we're we're marching toward our our capacity numbers. So go get your tickets now. Uh, uh it's gonna be an absolute blast. Yeah, dude, uh, we expected a, a fair bit of day of event sales. So the fact that we're already over halfway to sold out, a little SO action, then uh, uh, that's pretty exciting. Hey, um, guess guess who's who's back? Guess 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 who crawled up from the 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 the, the beautiful lavender beds of sleep uh, to join us for a, a night attack? Well, could it be the one and only invisible wife, Bonnie Brushwood? Huzzah! Hello! You've been missed, girl. Wait, what, what have you been up to? Well. Oh, I, oh, here's what you missed. Um, uh, we we have a new catchphrase. It's hot yeah because hot yeah. I'm dumb and no, I, hot yeah is fun. I I was gonna say hot damn and then uh, and and blended it with fuck yeah and I came out with like hot yeah and I thought I got away with it and then and then Bryce goes hot yeah and then Justin heard it and then it was all and then and now we're looking forward to the bright neon green spring break 1997 hot yeah oh, t-shirts oh with like the distressed it looks like it didn't get printed all the way you know well, what I'm talking I, we'll about see. Real, for real. I had an idea for a T-shirt that I wanted to get made to wear at uh, uh, the live show. If you are in the business of making T-shirts, please uh, hit us up on, on Twitter. Because now Brian needs a Hot Yeah T-shirt. Yeah. And I need a T-shirt that just says, I look like Daryush. <laughs> 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 or a photo of Daryush with it just says Daryush or me. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the, the three ideas I had was just a gigantic Daryush head or a, a picture of me, an equal sign, and then a picture of Daryush. <laughs> <laughs> or just I look like Daryush. Uh, uh, but either way, if you make t shirts, hit me up. Uh, Bonnie? Yes. Uh, uh, I, I, I want to get to your art event, which is happening, but I do want to mm. just wrap up our initial plug here for the uh, uh, South by So Wasted show. Brian, we're doing a bit 
at South by So Wasted that we've done live a lot of times, but oh. we've never done it quite like this. Oh, we're spilling it. Yeah. So uh, so one of our greatest hits is Don't Get Brodied, where, where people from the audience, it's storytelling as bull riding, where keep in mind, normally what you do is you, you hold stuff back to give a big punch at the end. But in this case, you got four or five judges with their arms out and their thumbs uh, either going to go up or go down. And uh, if one of those judges goes all the way down, then that's it. You're out. Your story got too boring. And it might be the best story ever, but we're not going to hear the end of it because you didn't get us excited in the first uh, 10 seconds and then again at 20 seconds and then again at 40 seconds and so on. So uh, it is cutthroat. It is brutal. And we, up until this point, have never had to play it. <laughs> we just sit on our stupid thrones <laughs> insisting that other people tell us stories and we go, no, too boring. Get out of here. Next guy. Uh, that will not be the case. At South by yeah. So Wasted. We are going to be doing Celebrity Don't Get Brodied. <laughs> that is where we will have stars of the podcasts and uh, YouTube series that you love telling their best stories. But that means that we have to give the audience a voice. That's and right. So we've uh, uh, appointed a sheriff. We've appointed somebody that will be looking out into the audience and determining whether or not the audience believes that this uh, story is getting boring. We went to the most even-handed man on the internet. So it has to, you have to get this exactly right. They have to trust him like Walter Cronkite. They have to yep. know that this person has impeccable taste, impeccable judgment, and would never turn against the audience and fairly represent them. Uh, man, if I was smarter, I would have set up like a funny opposite joke, but instead we did exactly that, and we got yep. Tom Merritt for the job. Tom Merritt is flying in to be the voice of the people on uh, the Celebrity Don't Get Brodied. But now, Brian, that's going to be a big audience. How is the person in the back going to know where Tom's thumb is, well, right? Because like. The He'll be that, on stage, or I, I don't know. I mean, sure, but but you you want to broad, you want to play to the cheap seats, right? That's that's the secret of being theatrical. So, Brian, I want to introduce you to somebody who will be making an appearance at South by So Wasted, ladies oh. and gentlemen. Ah. Tom's thumb. Oh my God! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my God! Holy shit! Oh, 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 uh, audio oh listeners, how I pity you at this moment. <laughs> it's a big, it's a big thumb. Oh, that's amazing. And he goes upside <laughs> Oh my God, it's Here, a big can, thumb. Can, can, can you, can you pose like you're, um, uh, uh, doing a movie poster with Vince Vaughn movie, uh, from the late nineties? <laughs> you know, like, like, uh, look at like the swingers poster. <laughs> oh my God. It's bi it's as big as three heads. <laughs> it's huge. Hey, if if you can kind of lean back and then make it look like you're thrusting your your thumb right up to the camera. There, uh, well, oh, it's it's a it's a picture of a sideways thumb. So there you, you uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is this wonderful thing and how did you have it made? <sighs> Uh, man, it's amazing what you order when you're drunk on a Friday night, but sometimes uh, gold comes in uh, on Monday morning. And... <laughs> I give this podcast this. one thumb up, but it's big enough for all of them. Well, that's uh, out of one. There, there we go. Uh, throughout the entire, the, nobody will have any question of where Tom's thumb is now that Tom's thumb oh, will amazing. be magnified for the entire audience. Oh, God. Tom's yeah, yeah. Just just Google. Uh, yeah, we should make it. Well, I guess you have heavy put SEO it, competition with Tom's yeah, thumb. Get picture, uh, and we'll Watch the it, video but... of this episode. Yeah, <laughs> that too. That? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, stop, stop your jog and, and, and watch <laughs> well, the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, Bonnie, you got, a, you got an art show coming up. I sure do. I'll be in Portland, Oregon. You're touring. You're doing it. I'm You're touring. touring. Look at me. Man, see, and I did Brian this right. Brian did this flippity flu kind of thing where now I'm touring. <laughs> That's right. Now I get to I get to hang out with the kids. Yes. Uh, uh, so uh, okay. So uh, uh, where where are you going to be? What what is what what, what uh, brings you to Portland, Oregon? Uh, I have one of my pieces at a um, show called Abstract Sanctuary, and this. Uh, a gallery called Verum Ultimum uh, does these every year. And so this is like a, an annual show, and I got accepted Dude, to I'm, it. Dude, I'm seeing a few people and in Portland very excited in the audience yeah. right now. That's awesome. 
Uh, so come out. Uh, it's from six to eight Saturday night, and uh, you know I might be busy, like you know. So so this this artsy. Saturday you are going out this Saturday. Yes. Oh, that's right. This I guess that, that means I'm staying in this Saturday. <laughs> See, it, March seems so far away, Justin. It so seemed like forever away. from now. So far away. So, uh, uh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, just just uh, 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 give 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 the 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 dates out and where you're gonna be. Okay, so uh, Saturday, which is March second. March second. There we go. <laughs> yeah, okay. there we go. March second. Oh, is this your picture? Is this your? That's uh, your piece yeah, on yeah. the your title. Your piece is, is front and center on their website. Look oh, that. that's amazing. She really likes it, <laughs> dude. That was a. Uh, so that's the piece that um, when it came out of the kiln, uh, somebody said, "Well, that's just a giant fuck you, isn't it?" <laughs> like, like. That that dangly ass tail of the seed pod is so risky a maneuver. Like she jumped Snake Canyon of art. She's the evil Knievel of art, and uh, and and everybody knows it. And it's so amazing because everybody has to make stuff that'll sell. And Bonnie doesn't even know if her stuff will survive the firing. It's, uh, it's or the lab. shipping. Like I, I it was awesome because. I I sent it to her and I thought she was going to be like, oh my gosh, you are so anal retentive. Like, why did you have all these instructions? But but she was like, oh, I felt so good about it. Your instructions were perfect because you know unpacking. It, it took me like three hours just to pack it, and then oh, and you needed to trust them to them pack to it for un- the return. Yeah, and also unpack it so they don't just reach in there and like crack, you know. But uh, she was real experienced and you know handles a lot of delicate art. She goes every year. I always pick two or three really delicate pieces like this, and uh, I'm just in love with it. Thanks. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, that, and I'm excited so that, that, that our extended family is going to come out and say yeah, hello. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be tootling around, and I'll try to give as much time as I can to my family. So, you know, as in you guys. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Not her actual family, but which speaking she's of her, entirely actually, delegating I know, to me. I know. You're in <laughs> charge. Before, so, before, before you get into your story, can you bring... Uh, uh, the smallest of the clazy pigs so people can get a picture with it. Oh, I do have some clazy pigs. If you get that, that that's the picture. That's like no matter what, everybody's going to want to go support you. But if while they're there, they can get some photo booth action with a clazy pig. Okay. That, All that's right. The how, how about this? How about okay. this? They borrow the clazy pig. And like a flat Stanley, everybody, because I'm sure the gallery would love people to tweet out photos of all the different art. Uh, but with with the appropriate hashtag, but what if just you know, carefully framed was a little crazy pig visiting each of them? Uh, okay, I, I'll have to. You know, it's not for sale. I, you know what? I don't want to piss off the gallery owner, but if she's cool with it, well, ask ask her if yeah. she thinks that would be fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I, I and I she seems really savvy to uh you know to social media. So I'm sure FLS she's fine Carnage with it. in the chat just goes hashtag NACA twenty eleven. Yeah. I'm gonna be using that one. So. Uh, yeah. All right. So everybody important, then go ahead and check out Bonnie's art. But Bonnie, you had a story. You haven't been on in a couple weeks. This is true. You know why I'm so tired? Why? Are you, why? How tired are you? I'm so tired because all day, every day, I hear, "Hey, mom." Oh. Hey, oh. mom. <laughs> hey, mom. Just like, "Hey, boss," <laughs> except it's my name, my my nomenclature or whatever nomenclature. No nomenclature. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Do you know that Rainbow Dash did this in this episode? And I think you should maybe, or, you know, what, what, hey, it's, mom. It's, it's the one two amp. The, yeah. Because she said she does say, hey, mom, exactly like I say, hey, boss. Right. She also takes no about as well as I do when I'm trying to, hey, boss my way through oh something. My gosh. So, so Callie, age six, is just like, a, hey, mom. And she's like, I can't. I'm busy right now. You can see I'm doing these dishes. Uh, then it's like, yeah, okay. Well, because I was just thinking. <laughs> yeah. uh, I wanted to. You're like, uh, Callie, uh, I, I can't talk to you right now. She's like, yeah, no, I heard that. But it's just that. And she keeps on going. Just if you have one second. It's just, you may... just one. Like, look, it's going to be real quick. Just real super quick. easy. Uh, just super easy. So again, this is not uh, for, for, for folks who are, are, are new to the show. I know we, we have uh, uh, fans of our, our guests who's coming up in a second. Low bro, who's uh, 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 awesome. But this is Brian's superpower. The, my the one intro. Gift. The intro to to make sure that in in any dead end and any sticky situation he can get out of it is always to lead in with 
hey boss. And so now, not your teenage daughter, no. not your preteen daughter, this six year old daughter. <laughs> she has the gift. <laughs> Read her naturally become uh, imbued with the hey boss superpower, except the only boss she knows is mom. So it's hey mom. <laughs> the, the, okay, and plus, uh, and by the way, I'm seeing in the chat people who like have heard enough of the tales to know the tenants. Like they're already doing quote. All right, if you were in my position, how would you handle this? You really I want to talk about right Rainbow now. Dash, Listen. but you're dealing with someone who's trying to do dishes. What's a what's a win win for both of us here? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's very true. But then, uh, 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 Josie, did you see her tweet today? Wait, Josie tweeted. Well, I tweeted on her oh. behalf. Wait, no, wait, tell me. She says, "If you spray a booger with hand sanitizer, will it disappear?" <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. Inquiring minds. Now, uh, your children, Brian. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I guess they will be for for a whole weekend. Yeah. Get get ready to re meet them when you after their re education. Oh. That's, <laughs> you walk in the door and it was like, "Hey, mom, look, I know you're really tired from going and gigging, but dad promised we could play some chess." Chess? Yeah. Chess. I was trying to think of something labor like the last thing you would want to do on Sunday night after touring. <laughs> chess, notoriously not a Sunday game. <laughs> Uh, so so what what about you, Justin? You have any exciting adventures this week? Oh man. Well, uh uh my 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 wife organized a surprise dinner for me. Mm. Those oh, are always fun. Uh yeah, well, uh uh my birthday's not for another uh week. Uh, uh so, and this happened 3 days ago. So my wife very very thoughtful. Not great with calendars, but you know, she makes up for it in sentiment, and it was an amazing experience. Uh, although, you know, this is kind of a tricky birthday here for me, Brian. Yeah, uh, wait, 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 I wait. wasn't expecting for it to be, but it turned out to be. Well, I mean, uh, this is the one where uh, uh, your your Russian doll birthday, right? Yeah, I'm turning 36. Yeah, you're you're worried about uh, reliving the same day over and over and over again. I'm terrified that on my birthday. I'm going to get caught in a time loop. Now, here's... here's yeah, the... I have great news for you, Justin. You're only half right. You're going to die on your birthday. <laughs> but all that loop stuff won't happen. <laughs> so the the first... No. Okay, too dark. Oh, too dark. I went too dark. Dude. That's... Uh, well, mm. I mean, well, here's the good news, though. The good news is that you guys will all be in my time loop. Because I'll be in Austin. <laughs> oh, my God. So what you need to do is wake up that morning and kick in our door and just say... All right, I'm on my 78th lap. I don't have time for this. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. And you need to spend an inordinate amount of money to make sure that, that like, you know, in five minutes there'll be a thunderclap. And then, and then all of a sudden you, you prank us, basically. So I need to, I need to, I need to wake up. Hold on. Uh, I just realized I, I, I'm just writing Darren Brown's next Netflix special. That's, that's all he's going to do. He's just going to, because, because uh, there's this trope of somebody caught in a time loop and then they have to know the right thing. He's going to research a bunch of people and he's going to have somebody, Tom Cruise, Edge of Tomorrow, walk in. He says, your darkest secret is that you touched your butt that night. You, you're, you uh, uh, secretly hate this. You blah, 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 blah. And everyone's going to be like, oh my God, I, I think he is in a time loop. And he's like, in a moment there's going to be a plane crash and then and at that point you believe him it's good and he's good he's like i'm darren brown i'm very brilliant i had this idea all on my own i watched a movie called night attack where they foretold all of this <laughs> i also love it uh, also i've crashed a plane so now i'm going to jail uh, i'm Eric brown bye forever they my greatest work but didn't they do that where they, they caught one guy believing there was a zombie apocalypse because they knew his television viewing habits and they knew which anchors he always watched. So they got that anchor to read these false reports of it appears that there's some virus controlling uh, uh, people. And he's it's, it's like, well, this is this is my Walter Cronkite. And, and he's telling me this is real. And so allegedly they do believe it is real. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, anybody who's not watched Darren Brown, Darren Brown's shit is awesome. Whether or not any of it is, like, even remotely close to how they present it on television, it doesn't matter. It's all, it's, it's realer than the Wahlburgers. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, uh, anyway, we're gonna, I guess we're gonna do that. <laughs> or maybe if you do, 
like uh, now you'd have to write in the fact that I predicted it. So you'd be like, it's- yeah, God damn it. Now it's now I'm doing a meta time loop. Like, <laughs> now, beyond the fact that I'm going to get stuck, I'm going to die on my birthday after the movie draft next week uh, uh, and then fall into it. And by the way, my time loop's going to include a plane ride. How bad that <laughs> sucks. Okay, I mean, well, and you realize that just by telling the story and making the joke, like, uh, please be very safe on your birthday, Justin. Please be very safe yeah, because uh, I don't. Well, as opposed to what? Like, I'm gonna. Like, I'm. Well, I was normally planning on doing more heroin than I've ever done in my entire <laughs> life and driving a tractor <laughs> off a cliff. But thank God, I'm going to keep it safe so I don't trigger a time loop. So. Uh, question. Uh, somebody on. Oh, by the way, this my wife knows that I'm that I'm uh, scared of getting caught in a birthday time loop. So instead of saying surprise, all of my assembled local friends did give me a sweet birthday baby uh, as uh, is is the catchphrase in the Russian Dolls show. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> hey, I don't know if we have a problem or are borrowing a problem, but somebody on Twitter said, uh, hey, are you sure the Ice Cream Social Boys will make it for the uh, w- the summer movie draft because they're doing, uh, like, Penn and Teller Fulos is shooting. Have we gotten confirmation from the boys that they'll be able to join us? Yes. I mean, they, okay. yeah, they, okay. they know the day and time, so. If- okay, well, you know how it is. It's like somebody on Twitter just like, uh, uh, hey, uh, here's a valid reason that you should be worried. I was like, oh, my God, I, uh, now I know a valid reason to be worried about whether or not they can make it. So this is brand but, news to me. Okay, well, so, then, yeah, probably- so, so uh, uh, whichever scoop that was, Production thank you for your Production meeting! <laughs> but that's a good, that's a good. <laughs> the sausage gets made. <laughs> that's a good thing to, to bring up, though, that, that uh, next Tuesday's episode of Night Attack will be the summer movie draft. Uh, instead of your your normally scheduled oh, night attack. Belmont's going to be on? That's right. Tom Merritt, uh, instead of Team DTNS, it's going to be Team Sword and Laser, Tom Merritt and Veronica Belmont, plus Frog Pants, plus Ice Cream Social, plus the champions, John Trekker, and the new team, Team oh, Hammerson. Oh, they're not going to make it. What? Yeah, no, they're both dead now. They both <laughs> died, and uh, they fell into a what? mine, and they died. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, because so, they always which, which win. also news to me. Uh, I, I intend to prove that it's true, because I'll be able to display... <laughs> A, a, a broken suit of armor that uh, that that he was probably wearing. Um, yeah, yeah, he was. They were both in the suit of armor. It was really tight, and yeah. they weren't looking where they were going, and they fell down a mine shaft. All and right, they're, they're both dead. All right, we we got to so. bring on our guest, but real quick, I got in trouble. I got in trouble with Bonnie. Bonnie has been. Oh. Has been has been working for a long time to make this birthday party for uh, both of our dads turned seventy this year. So we so we had this beautiful party. She got everything all set up, and uh, and then meanwhile, uh, I I got a call from uh, 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 John Teasdale who said, uh, "Hey, uh, how uh, how much would you pay me for this suit of armor? It's Attack Night, the Night Attack. Uh, oh, you telling the story? Night Attack, <laughs> Night Attack. And yeah, uh, yeah. and I was like, pay. So for those of you, yeah, there is uh, a character." That has been on this show, the attack night, the night attack night that might attack night attack. Uh, that is just uh, sits uh, uh, ominously by us as we do shows uh, and might attack us at any moment. Uh, and so uh, that suit of armor uh, now was being bargained to you. Correct. And uh, and so he's like, "How much you want to pay?" I was like, uh, I, "Look, we're we're building and we're doing and we're whatever." And and he's just like, "You know what?" Uh, don't even worry about it. Like I, <laughs> he's like, I don't want to go through the hassle of selling a, a suit of armor. Uh, if you just get it out of my house, it's yours. I'm like, great. Uh, and then I, a month or two passes, and he's like, hey, by the way, that offer expires in about 20 minutes. Uh, you should get this suit of armor out. I'm like, fine, 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 fine. So at first I was going to be, you know, recruiting from within, but I'm like, I don't want to give everybody all, all this trouble. And so, and so finally I, I discover TaskRabbit. First time I've ever done TaskRabbit. I, 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 what, what kind of job you need? I need somebody to move a thing to a thing to take it to a place. And it's like $60, $60 an hour is the cheapest one. I'm like, great, fine. How long is it going to take to pack up some crap and send it off? So $60 an hour, maybe an hour, maybe two, I don't know. And so yeah. uh, 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 describe your job. I need a suit of armor appropriately packaged and shipped to Austin, Texas from uh, the, uh, the Bay Area. And, um, and and I get a message that responds with um, <laughs> that responds with uh, ex- uh, oh, here we go. It begins with him saying uh, good morning, Brian. Excuse my ignorance. How would one, quote, package appropriately a suit of armor? <laughs> and uh, I wrote no idea, but I trust you to figure it out. A friend of mine bought a suit of armor and he wants it out of his place. I think the job is just picking up the stuff, taking it to a UPS FedEx store, having their experts figure out how to ship it so it arrives undamaged, and then tell me how much it costs. Would that work? Time passes. 
uh, he gets there and goes and then and uh, uh, takes the stuff, takes photos of the parts that are already damaged to cover his butt. And then and then uh, in the middle of the 70th birthday party, I have to leave four times because he's working with with the experts at the UPS store to figure out how to package up a suit of armor. Uh, five boxes, five boxes. <laughs> Also, you want insurance on this? How much is it worth? I, I, I don't know. You said he paid like a thousand or something dollars for it. It's like, okay, pay, and it, well, how much is the insurance? They're like, I don't know, like two bucks for every hundred dollars. It's like, well, then yeah, spend the 20 bucks and we'll get the thousand dollars insurance. It'll be fine. And then it's like, okay, okay, now we need the credit card. And it's like, get ready for the credit card. I'm like, okay, so um, uh, I know the TaskRabbit guy, who boy, we're up to three and a half hours now, aren't we? Okay, well, TaskRabbit is going to be a little bit pricier than I expected. Uh, uh, real quick, I got to go in and wish my, 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 my parents and in-laws, well, uh, how much? Uh, and they're like, um, ooh, click, 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 click. We need your credit card because it will be $926. Oh, my God. No, $926 to get the attack knight, the knight attack knight who might attack knight attack down to Austin. And, 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 so, I, and so I ask, uh, I was like, uh, uh, how fast are we shipping this? And they're like, so slow, it will take an eon before it arrives there. We're physically walking it is how slow it is. Uh, <laughs> there is no slower way to get this attack night. It will be, the, 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 the night, the actual knights will have gotten to the crusades faster. So, okay. The, the armor will arrive in Austin. So here's the real problem, is I didn't feel the need to consult Bonnie on any of this because I was getting a free suit of armor that clearly belonged <laughs> on the set of the Modern Rogue. I mean, I'm just saying, <laughs> Brian, you know that I am never, never uh, uh, slow to give you shit if you do something stupid, right? Among your friends who will call you on something dumb, I, I, I hope I rank in the top three, if not the top, uh, uh, the number one spot. I am 100% beside you on this one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how could we not? How could no, we not? And, it's and I, steep. It's steep. But will you be gaining $5 of admiration every time you look at a full suit of armor <laughs> on a set? <laughs> yes, you will. You're going to be making money within the year in admiration dollars you're going to be earning but, in your head. And then there, there, there's also that unfortunate uh, amount that she can hear my conversation and... Uh, like, there's no getting around it. She's like, what's going on? And it's like, I just have to look at her <laughs> at the middle of the party and say, like, I didn't spend $1,000 on a suit of armor. <laughs> it almost certainly would have been cheaper for me to just fly it down to do an episode of Night Attack and then flown back. You could have given I, I, Justin and, 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 half and again, of that to do it. Again, again I, I, and I would have, except for I knew it, it's my fault I was up against the time limit. It was like, no, if you no, want no, it no, for no. free, oh, look, it has okay. to vanish. I, I, I'm, I'm with Brian. As soon as you throw it into the Task Rabbit world, like that's a total crapshoot. Sometimes you're going to get people who know what the fuck they're doing. Sometimes you're going to get people who are like, oh, my skill is I lift a thing and put a thing somewhere, and they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. Bonnie, uh, uh, yeah. the floor is yours for your rebuttal. Your position is it's not super rad to spend $926 for a suit of armor. Yeah. Go. You know, the thing is, just er <laughs> just a few days earlier, he gave me a lot of grief over getting some medical stuff done. <laughs> okay. That was cheaper than that. He goes, you should cancel this. This is expensive. I don't think you really no, need to right. know how healthy you are or not healthy. And and I and I money. want okay. to spend that money on shipping a suit of armor. This is all a right, real all right, all right, Bonnie. Before I even know what this <laughs> medical procedure is or how considerate it is, as an unbiased third-party arbiter, can I ask you this? Yes. Would the medical testing defend the thrust of a full claymore <laughs> at a uh, 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 combat speed? <laughs> Well, you might be able to dodge it if you were healthy. So. <laughs> that as a no. Uh, Brian, would a suit of armor would be able to repel? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. Full speed? But, okay, I'm going to say this sentence out loud. <clears throat> I genuinely did give Bonnie grief because she spent $800 
for a you win your money uh, mouth eight hundred dollars <laughs> for a full blood work analysis of That's all of stuff. yeah okay but she did it at the gym <laughs> which <laughs> which I'm like wait what <laughs> it's like I go to my gym for a lot of things but general practice is not one of them uh, and so I gave her set and then I found out it is very very good blah 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 but I gave her set. <laughs> And then, yeah, I, and then, I, then I turned around no, and guys, bought a no, suit of armor. You both did the exact same thing. <laughs> you both wound up spending more money than you needed to for a service that a simple few Googles probably would have re revealed <laughs> an equal, if not better, version for cheaper. But that's fine. So uh, life happens. Bonnie, you got your blood work done and you trusted. Brian, you got a suit of armor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first world problems. <laughs> Um, yeah, man. Uh, look, I, I think we all uh, want to thank the people who brought this story to you, our patrons, uh, the folks over at patreon.com slash night attack. I know you and your money yes. mouth. What are you going to be talking hey, like that? I, dude, this is what you're paying for. You're paying for suits of armor. You're paying for blood work, high end, top of the line. You're paying for top notch stories. This is, this is necessary. We are necessarily... Uh, uh, buying suits of armor and blood work from the gym. Uh, uh, it is, uh, we are hay momming our way. To, uh, this is true. Uh, thanks to you. Patreon.com slash night attack. Uh, 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 please come on over. Come on over, baby, to Patreon.com slash night attack. This is where you can get your custom RSS feed. You get the pre show, you get the post show. If you are new here and you like this show, let me just tell you this, pre-show and the post-show, oftentimes better than the real show, and it's double what you get. And you get it right in a custom RSS feed that is super easy to add, set it, and forget it into any podcatcher you have. You're having a great time. Hells, yeah. .com slash night attack. Plus, if you are a new subscriber or you up your pledge, then you can be randomly selected for a little thing we like to call... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the night attack. New Patreon name chant corner hour. Thanks for the buck, fucko. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, 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 hello, welcome to General Processing. We got it. We got it. We got another one. This guy. This guy seems like a real firebrand. I don't know. It seems like it's gonna cause a lot of trouble. Um, yeah, I, I don't know about that one, Smith. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, troublemakers ain't my favorite. Uh, that's really weird that you would say that, because his last name is Smith. <laughs> I don't know about that, Jones. I'd just like to call you Smith to give you a dump. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you accusing me of being in cahoots with one of these guys? This guy walks in off the street, you suddenly think I got his last name? We've been hey, working hey, on the hey, force 75 hey. years. Get, don't get so hot, Rothstein. We're just <laughs> playing jokes here. Okay, fine. I just want to say, welcome to Night Attacks Diamond Club, Craig, Craig Smith. Smith. Craig Smith. Craig Smith. Craig Smith. Craig Smith. Hey, Craig. Craig. Hey, Craig. Hey, Craig. What you doing? Uh, you got time for a story? Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. Maybe because what I wanted to do is talk about uh, Craig Smith here for a little bit, but, but you don't see. You seem like you're in the middle of something else there, Craig. Craig, what's going on? Craig. 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 Smith. All right, all right, all right. And we give one minute to go full Twitch streamers. So we'll shout out anybody's names who donate stuff right now while Justin tells this very simple story. Hey, man, we all know about the Crusades, right? But did you <laughs> yes. know about the little-known crusade, the Cheesy Bob Crusade? Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of people who thought being cheesy was great, but then other people are like, I see you. It's not that great to be cheesy. But then, meanwhile, in the Holy Land, Ace Hasley was saying, not so fastly. <laughs> not so fastly. It's a vile 82 arrangement. Cheese must be destroyed. Also fun. And Benito Boom Crash said, what? What's cheese? <laughs> and th it's it's kind of like a, 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 a thrum I, I don't know thrumwald. I, I have nothing on that one. It's a bad mamma jamma of three is what it is. Of three. 
uh, said, all of my three go down to ye, Funkarius, the leader of the cheese crusade. Yeah, but then he had a taste of cheese, and he was like, my God, this is more than the dead prom- polymers I was promised. This is a delight, and we should be thrilled. Lisa, Lisa, Jay, get over here. Eat this. It's cheese. Uh, uh, well, codes from home was what the soldiers got as they failed in their cheese crusade. And everybody lived happily ever after. Everybody kissed each other on the mouth. Uh, uh. (laughs) Thank you, guys. Thank you to everybody. And by the way, uh, hey, Bryce, what do we uh, add up every single episode? Oh, you know, it's the... (laughs) The Bit Box. At halftime, it is Scandral with 400 bits. We'll find out who it is at the end of the show. But before we get to that, we got to introduce our guest, Brian. He is the Neon Positivity Streamer here on the Twitch.tv. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, low bro. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much I for see- joining us. I seriously haven't stopped giggling for the last 30 minutes, so <laughs> you're going to need to give me a second. I, I, okay, well, I, I, then I want allow us to say uh, we deeply appreciate the kind words because we are always uh, – it's a little bit like having your parents over uh, to your room to your roommate's shared uh, apartment in college where you're like, ah, oh, Jesus, what, uh, uh, how does this look <laughs> to the outside? But, uh, but I'm glad you've been enjoying it so far, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, too. I mean, like, I was nervous coming on, so – I'm I'm I ha- I'm happy to be here. Thank well, well, you guys. So 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 for uh, for for we the uninitiated, uh, what is your elevator pitch of, of how you came to to Twitch and and what little uh, corner of of joy you bring to the world? Oh man, I feel like that's two different questions. Well, then, but uh, I'll, pick you, whichever one's easier for you. Yeah, take, I'll, take, take, I'll, I'll sum them up. I'll sum them up into one. Basically, I started Twitch playing games just for fun. Uh, my job was to teach and coach people about leadership, self care, mental health you know, personal growth, all those important topics uh, about life that we don't get taught in school. Um, But I've been passionate about those kinds of things my whole life. And so um, I would kind of just talk about them before my stream. And so I would I would talk about those for like an hour and get into games and no one would be there while I was playing the games. I started realizing I should probably, you know, double down on what I'm good at. So uh, I host a show on on Twitch here um, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights about uh, personal growth, self-care, mental health, all those important topics, like I said. Um, and on that show, I call it the Neon Positivity Show. I'm still working on, you know, launching the podcast and stuff for that. But, like, that's that's what, I, so, what I'm doing. Uh, I, I, I feel like <laughs> you and I are kindred spirits in that, um, you know, when, when I – when I had a day job shortly out of college and I had okay. this dream to, you know, try to be a magician, like I didn't mind the idea of failing. I love magic. Uh, oh, right on. I, I didn't mind love the idea of, of failing at being able to do it full time, but I did mind the idea of never knowing that quiet desperation of working a day job. And it was a fine day job, but that, that idea that, uh, that sooner or later there would be a Christmas magic show that the a corporate Christmas magic show. And I was going to have to see someone else and I, I would have to spend that entire time wondering if that could have been me. And so when I, when I quit my day job, uh, it was Bonnie who gave me one year. She says, you got one year, I'll keep the lights on. And, uh, awesome. uh, uh I, I couldn't do it. Uh, and so she gave me another year, <laughs> but, but during that time you realize how much you don't know and, and, and how deeply I valued, the the fuel of uh, uh you know your Brian Tracy's your your Tony Robbins's your, your you know these these people who were saying uh yep. hey here's the here's the hard work the grit that lies before you these are the techniques to communicate effectively these are the ways to motivate yourself to get up and try to punch the sun um mm-hmm. and I have a strong weakness for all those and even though. As a hardcore skeptic, I I know 50% of it is bullshit. I just don't know which 50%. Uh, but but I know that 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 all had a very important place in 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 my journey. And and sure. I I'm so thrilled to hear that that it sounds like like you're of the same mindset. That that Thank you. that that there's that there's um <clears throat> uh, that there's fuel that you're sharing that people take with them in the rest Holy. of their day. Hell yeah, absolutely. Even the smallest thing that you learn during the day, like that that little nugget that you get from the day, if you're if you're like listening to yourself and you're like paying attention to whatever is going on throughout your day, that thing that you learn, whatever it is that you're paying attention to that you learn throughout the day, you can teach that. And when you turn on your stream for the day, you can show your community what you're learning 
and they're learning too because we're all people and we're all wanting to grow. And I think that's the whole purpose is like we're all wanting to improve ourselves. And that's and that's pretty amazing. And I'm so glad that you exist on Twitch because thanks, man, for all of the radness of being able to connect, Twitch can be a weird paradox. It's isolating yet connecting, right? Like you yes. are talking to people, you are having a good time, you are making connections, but both from the guy looking into the camera and everybody else looking into the monitor, oftentimes, with rare exceptions, you're alone, right? Yeah. Like physically, everything yeah. that we uh, biologically has uh, have been built in to say like, oh, you're by yourself is saying you're by yourself and yet you're having a good time. Well, and, yep. and and you know that 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 was something that I had to really wrestle with because uh, when you're on tour, there's something about that electricity of instant feedback with the audience. You know when something's landing, you know when it's not. You're able to get to the end, and and hopefully by the end you've 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 courted everybody's approval. And then they all line up afterwards and shake your hand and say good things. All of that on a very animalistic level gives you all of the endorphins, and you're just constantly riding this high. And to give that up, and now instead of Instead of uh, uh, clapping, which you can hear and say, that's good. I'm doing good. I had to switch to the better I did, the more emails I got from people. And emails feel like homework. <laughs> and it's like, you're like, like, I'm very glad you enjoy the show. It was really a tough uh, thing to readjust to. And now, now to get it, to it, it, it's like instead of applause, you got an ounce of lead. <laughs> for every for every for every clap, it was just like an ounce of lead was like thrown on stage and you had to clear it out and then fly back with it for hopefully less than nine hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> uh, so uh, at any rate, so 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 once you once you realize that because um, I think I think it's also th there's what you realize about yourself, but it's also amazing mm -hmm. to watch Twitch kind of realize all the niches that it has to fill. And you sort of realize like, oh, wait, I don't think anybody's doing what I want to do. W w was there an epiphany moment for you? Yeah, actually, that's really funny and like very specific for you to ask that question because there was a huge epiphany moment like because I was streaming a talk show and would go into a video game and people would leave. Like I would have like like a, a huge number of viewers and then play a video game and everyone would be, go everyone would be gone. <laughs> You're like, I what did no I do? What was going on? The epiphany moment was realizing that people were coming from what I was, for what I was talking about, um, you know, improving ourselves or, or whatever else, whatever topic about um, how we can, you know, uh, help each other about growing. Um, people were coming for that and not for the video games I was playing. And the epiphany moment was what what it was, was um, I don't know if you guys know Sup Daily here on, on Twitch, but he's awesome. Um, he basically reached out to me and was like, dude, you're you're basically holding a talk show, but you're not talking about stuff. How, how, how far about back stuff. are we how about how far back are we in time at this point? Like um, That was about actually just about a year ago now. So I've been doing like the neon positivity show uh, for about a year now. And and how do people communicate? Do they send in letters, uh, voicemails? Do you take calls live or? Everything I do is through chat on Twitch. And so I started using emotes that are specific for people's reactions. And so a lot of things I like to do is like, um, uh, for example, like um, if there's something that everyone can relate to, I have a raise your hand emote that people can use because if they agree with that or they're like they relate to that, they can raise their hand and be like, "Hey, like I'm I'm with you. I'm I'm here right now." And there's probably yeah, there's a couple. Oh, of that's so great. Well, so so that's this great. is what I've been craving. This is this is applause and 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 like like mm -hmm. and it's visual and it's not something mm -hmm. that you have to tediously respond to. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> I love that that's your reaction to it. Thanks. You have to tediously respond to it. <laughs> well, I, but I, but I, like I, I get a, I spent all day, I spent all day doing emails today. This is, I know, I know, I know. Look, your relationship with email is a complex, like there should be a, a, a 70s erotic thriller set to your relationship with email. It should, should be written by Chuck, Chuck Tingle. Relationship. <laughs> I know uh, that like, Twitch chat probably isn't lending itself to having these super deep conversations, but for whatever whatever the 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 length of Twitch message per message you can send is whatever that is, I have found I can reach people and I can like talk about really important subjects on Twitch live, 
No, uh, for some I, reason, I just go ahead. Yeah, I, I no, I, I actually think that you're right. I, I think it, 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 it's it's a great place just because uh, for what I said initially that there, I I have often said that the internet is the lonely people's economy, mm -hmm. like is yeah. it's there people who and this is more about the origins than it is now. Now that everybody has a smartphone, but a lot of the cultures that were built on the internet were built by the outcasts. They were built by the people that were shut out by the mainstream. Now the mainstream is shut as uh, is all shown up to the houses, the churches, the banks, the hotels of everybody that was lonely before. So we still bear those hallmarks and, and Twitch is a huge example of that, that uh, this initially was like, okay, well, who would want to watch vi people play video games? Right. All day, right. Uh, and yet, it is built for communication. Yep. It's built because you are lonely, so you want to have some comfort food. You want to remember yep. the time that you sat down with your friend and watched uh, them play video games, that you're playing a, a video game with your friend right now, but they're not available. And so, because that is the through line, there's no reason why the person on the other line can't be, hey, guys, let's talk about our feelings let's talk about where we are let's talk about vulnerability let's talk about uh, uh positivity let's talk about uh, where we want to go and how we can get yep. there like that's that's there's no reason why the video game can't be that but nobody thinks of it because we're evolving this is this is a this is a process Wait, is isn't that the um uh, I, I want to say this is like uh, parenting advice. Like uh, if, if you have a teenage son and you want to talk to him, uh, you don't say, hey, can we talk? What you do is you say, hey, let's throw a ball. Let's do a thing. Let's have a process. And so it sounds like 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 your story was that you were you started off throwing the ball. And at some point you find yourself talking and you're like, OK, we don't need the ball anymore. We could just talk. Exactly like that. What you just described is basically what happened. Uh, I had a community of people who wanted to talk about growing and talk about like how can i be a better person <laughs> like that just that just doesn't like exist in a void that has to be created and cultivated and so somehow i had like brought these people here who wanted to talk about that and so um we we started talking about that and and you know have uh, you have you had are. have you had that moment when you sensed a gravity to a situation that was uh, you know, heretofore, you know, beyond what you had dealt with, and you suddenly realized. I, I, I would, I would yeah. guess that you, 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 you've had some code reds, like because, uh, because uh, certainly we've had real moments on this show where, uh, you know, the the audience then understands, they take those cues, and they're like, okay, well, I have some real shit happening in my life, and we are nowhere near. We're still a comedy show that gets real. You're a real guy that I'm sure makes jokes, like like uh, that. You are the number one thing. In fact, everybody that's got some real shit will come to you now from <laughs> first before they come to us. So I I'm just, sure you've had some code reds. I just wish I was as funny as you guys. Like, the way you guys are able to interject humor into everything. I'm just like, wow, how am I going to, like, live up to the standard? <laughs> well, um, stop it. But, <laughs> if it no. makes you feel better, our advice is shit. <laughs> 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 um. Yeah, but yeah, there's definitely been some code reds. Um, but I think at the end of the day, you have to understand you are not responsible for someone else's pain. So whatever anyone else is going through right now, you're you're not responsible for that. We're like promoting a conversation here to talk about it and to grow and to help each other. But I can't fix everything that's going on with you. Like if you need to see a counselor, you need to see a counselor. If you need to see a, a therapist or whatever, you need to see that. But like we're here to improve ourselves. But I, I'm not a doctor. I don't have everyone's answers, right? Um, so at the end of the day, I think it's one of those things that you just have to understand and be able to explain when you're when you're hosting something or talking about something, it's okay to say, I don't have all the answers. That's totally okay to say that. As long as you're willing to grow and improve and like understand where people are coming from, like I don't I don't see the problem. You know what I mean? So so you are you are more like the front lines. Like you are you are the first person that you see if you have a problem. You're you're out there proselytizing the good word. I in, hope so. In, 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 into the untamed country, and then you're like, hey, look, if you really have a problem, then you need to see a doctor. And I'm the guy. I, I'm not the doctor. I'm the guy to tell you. So basically, 
He's the guy. He's the guy that is not a doctor, but everybody has permission to walk up to him and say, "Hey, can you? Uh, is is that weird? Uh, is, is that supposed to be like that?" And then he's, he's like, "Yeah, it looks like a sunburn." Or he's yeah, like, "No, like, go see a doctor." It, it, it's like a fucking Jim Henson creation. You should go see a goddamn doctor. Once appointment, <laughs> that shit. Let me ask you this: Do you feel like we're in a we're in a, we we live in a place or in a country where everything has to be black and white all the time? Uh, I feel like me, me personally, like we we when someone has a problem, they're like, oh, see a doctor, see a therapist. There's no like gray area. Why is there no reason we can't talk about and 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 have conversations about becoming better people every day? Oh, like, sure. Why isn't that? 100%. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's where I'm I think the here. easy I'm, thing I'm to do a gray spot. Um, th this weirdly enough goes back to the hey boss thing. Uh, whenever somebody walks up to you and hands you a problem, the easy thing is to figure out. Uh, to a uh, name of a place that is not you that they could take that problem. And it's like, it's, it's very rare that, 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 that you want to take on that problem. And so, and so, you know, the whole joke of the Hey boss thing is, you know, construct your sentence in such a way where the easier of the two options is to just handle it right now, rather than try yeah. to pawn it off on someone else. So all Absolutely. of this, this, this expert bias where it's just like, Oh, uh, well, why, how hard is it to talk to a sociologist or whatever? It's like, the answer is it's very hard and it's very expensive. And also, so, uh, as I found out, when I tried to mail a fucking suit of armor, the moment you expect <laughs> experts to do their shit, it costs all the money in the world. If I if I had found somebody like you who could have just said, yeah, well, let's work on this together, then yeah, we could have figured it out together. But instead, I spent $926 plus four hours of task rabbit. <laughs> yeah, dude, you went over a G for the attack knife. Yeah, oh, look, I care gosh. a lot about this community, Justin. Oh. You're welcome. You know, uh, so the name Night Attack isn't a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I read something pretty, pretty good the other day about um, how like our generation of, of teens have anxiety about having anxiety. And the mm -hmm. article is just like, like, hey, anxiety helps you to grow up and become a better person. And we have it mm -hmm. all our lives. So don't freak out because you're anxious about something. That means you're paying attention, you know, and just get in there and pay attention because that's good, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, one thing I want to mention there, too, is it's easy to look at anxiety and see like um, see it just as one big blob. But what's going on here is like we have people who have generalized anxiety, you know, disorder. That, mm -hmm. That's an actual disorder. And then we have people who are feeling anxiety right now. And that's probably a good thing. And I agree with the person who's talking about that feeling of anxiety. Sometimes when you're anxious, I'm anxious right now. Like I'm feeling anxiety being on the show. And I'm willing to admit that and be vulnerable enough to talk about that. But like that's a feeling right now. I don't have generalized anxiety disorder. And so I think it's important to understand the distinction between the two also because I think a lot of people might want to understand that they're one big blob, but they're actually two different things. Someone who's dealing with anxiety all the time as opposed to that like fleeting moment or a few moments or minutes where you're feeling anxiety. Does well, that make sense? And in fact, like, I remember as a kid in, in health, uh, having it explained to me the difference between you stress and distress. Uh, you're going to be very stressed before you walk across the stage of graduation. That's a very good stress to be feeling, you know, when you yeah, go on a game show. Absolutely. That's, a, that's yes. a great stress to be feeling. Uh, yes. Distress is when you're powerless and, and, and something bad is happening. Um, and uh, there was... You know, around the time that that the TV project came out uh, and I turned 40, I had all the typical reasons to get stressed about stuff. Um, I, it was the first time I had ever had a genuine panic attack. And uh, it took a while for us to to come up with a shorthand where, you know, Bonnie would would well intention try to, you know, help me understand. Well, you don't have there's nothing to fear because this, that and the other. And, and there was that moment that I'm like, Bonnie, you can't logic this away. It's like, trust me, because everything you're going to say is going to be right. And I'm still going to be spun up and, and trapped in it. And uh, I'll tell you what, man, uh, uh, the four year journey since then has has uh, I, I, I've learned a lot. And it just makes me appreciate the work that you do uh, even even more. I mean, it's a uh, as a society, it makes me really happy that we're turning so much of our focus inward to uh, to, to learn how the, the the wetware works. I did not leave anyone an opportunity to say anything about what I just said. <laughs> And that's another Boy, great thing about me. I don't know, Brian. <laughs> just kind of hanging out there, aren't you? That's, uh... <laughs> oh my God, you gave yourself the Kobayashi Maru because not only did you talk about something that I don't think you've ever talked about on the show or publicly at all, 
Uh, uh, but then you also didn't end it with a question, so it just ended with. So anyway, that's an admission. I hope you all recognize its significance in my life. Ba ba da da ba ba ba. <laughs> okay, I do have a question. What do you think we're going to, as a society, think of social media 10, 15, 20 years from now? Is, is it cigarettes? Like, are we all smoking and, and we don't realize how gross it looks? Here's my opinion about social media 20 years from now. It's going to be no different than how it is now. What social media does is reveal people for who they are. And I don't think everyone realizes that yet. It's like social media is really just showing people who we actually are. And so when we laugh at people on social media or we cry with them or we uh, support them, it's because like that is actually what's going on in their life. And I know that so, sounds so ridiculous. If I'm hearing but... you correctly, it's not cigarettes, but it might be alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I'm so glad. This is why we're uh, the, the brothers from another mother. <laughs> It is. Of course it's alcohol. Of course it's look, some people abuse it. Some people get abusive on it. Some people get lovey dovey on it. Some people uh, uh get too over sherry on it. It is. Prohibition happened. Uh and then uh, we didn't know it. It was called we didn't invent it yet. And then we ended prohibition on we didn't invent it yet. And all of a sudden, Facebook, MySpace, Friendster, Twitter, uh, Instagram all came around. And look. Some are more potent than others, right? You know, some are more favored uh, by old people like Facebook. Uh, <laughs> some are more <laughs> like young people. Facebook you know, is like, oh, see, see, like, like uh, a Snapchat was uh, for loco. It had a real <laughs> in it. It was really, it got uh, the young kids really excited. Uh, uh, and maybe, uh, you know, uh, Facebook is like, a, is, 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 is an old fashioned. Is a, it's Ciroc. Yeah, uh, uh, Facebook is is an old fashioned. Uh, Twitter, Twitter might be. Um, uh, I guess they would be like sh just shots, right? Just shots in general. Well, tequila, 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 tequila for, shots. Wait, no, the dating apps are tequila. You know. Oh jeez. <laughs> beer has to be. Is 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 beer email? Yeah. 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 I mean, you're having a conversation one on one, right? And like then, it's uh, just old as dirt, like beer is. Beer like was made by when somebody accidentally. All right, if email it. is beer, oh. then what's wine? I guess. Uh. uh oh. Oh. Uh, uh. Like Slack would be wine. No. No. That, Instagram. That would be, oh, I don't Instagram know how to participate wine? in this conversation, but there's rum in my cup. If that's. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have Twitter in my cup. <laughs> Uh, and I hey, yet to quantify gin and tonic, but let's say it's LinkedIn. <laughs> uh, hey, do, do we want to move on and play a game? Or uh, I, I do feel like we should tell everybody where where they can experience more of Lobro Watch, right? It's just L O B R O W A T C H. That's me. Yeah. Uh, uh, what what, what, what yeah. kind of game do we have, Bryce? Uh, we got a game here. This is a collaboration game. Sweet. I, I, I should have had my. Oh, no. This is a <laughs> collaboration, collaboration game. game. Oh shit! Uh, collaboration collaboration doing. You game. This, right? You work together, or the thing is lame. Collaboration game. <laughs> Low bro, watch. Don't be yeah, nervous. No, YouTube's got to be something too. Chocolate rain. That's all I know about what's going on here. Yeah, I know. YouTube's Jägermeister. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube is Jägermeister. Yeah. Okay. That that tracks. Twitch is just straight free basing. So uh, BioCow and TSCN Sam uh, got together to make this game. Uh, it is uh, a um, uh, it, it's it's basically a, it's it's true or false. What, what do we call it? Real or fake? Real or uh, fake? Uh, uh, secrets or BS? Well, no, <laughs> real or fake is the, the oh, name of the okay. type of game. Uh, he they went and found all of the uh, uh, the different types. You know how in Japan there are like a million different types of. Tick, uh, Kit Kats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, are these Kit Kat flavors? So these are Kit Kat flavors, yeah, and you're going to have to tell me if they're... Gonna, yeah, so you would say sorrow, and then we would say there's no <laughs> way there's a Japanese sorrow-flavored Kit Kat, and you were like, psych? Not only that, there's also uh, bitter regret and uh, uh, the, the loss of your uh, father. Yeah. So, the, yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so this is really easy. We're going to give you the uh, the name of a flavor and a little bit of information about it, and you're each are going to go. Uh, we'll we'll uh, uh, rotate who starts, and you're just going to tell me if it's real or fake, and then we'll find out at the end. Ready? Y'all good for this? All right. Sure. Round one is super easy. Uh, we're going to start with you, Brian, on 
Uh, this flavor, Tokyo Exotic. Shut up. A Shut up, BioCast. <laughs> Shut up, all you guys. Shut up. Damn it. it. A limited edition bar with milk chocolate with passion fruit, raspberry, strawberry, cherry, black currant, and pepper. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. So you're going to say fake. It just, just... It's fake. Okay. It better be fake. Okay, he's going to say fake. <laughs> Lobro, what do you think? It's real. He says it's real. Now, are you... Uh, are, are you big on the Kit Kats? Do you know a bunch of these wacky I variety have flavors? No knowledge about Kit Kats. I'm just <laughs> guessing. All right, Justin. The fact he said no, I had to guess yes. <laughs> well, not, not, now that I've got my Lobro lighting going. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. Yeah, 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 Lobro me up, man. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> Tokyo Exotic. I'm going to say is having been to Japan and seeing how fucking wild those uh, flavors are. I must say the, the, uh, that shit's real. You're gonna say real. All right. This answer is. Real. Damn it. Uh, That's right. Exotic. Yeah, Tokyo. Baby. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, you ain't fucked around in <laughs> Tokyo. Get a couple of hosts. Uh, 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 pop some Tokyo exotic <laughs> in their pocket, man. You're having a good time. That's right. All right. Round two. So you guys, you guys get how this is played now. Round two, we're going to start with Lobra on this one. The flavor is Udon and Negi, a mix of two warming favorites that are sure to remind you of the days spent with a warm bowl and good friends. A white chocolate flavored with Negi while wafer perfectly complementing with the flavor of Udon. No. You're going to say no? Definitely not. That's fake. Right, so. uh, I'm going to say oh, real. Yes, Justin. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm going to wait my turn. You're gonna wait. <laughs> Justin? Uh, I'm going to say that that is fake. You're going to say it's fake. Brian, it sounded like you were going to say real, but... Yeah, yeah I'm going to say it's real. All right, the answer is... Fake! Of course, that would have been... How do you like that fake-ass Kit Kat? How do you like that fake-ass Kit Kat? Of course, that would have been noodles and onion flavored, so... Gross! Kind of kind of gross on that one. All right, round three. Justin, we're starting with you. The flavor oh, is... Yeah. White gaja quinoa, a big, bold quinoa flavor, nutty yet creamy with a hint of bitterness that is offset by a rich white chocolate. Perfect for a ho holiday party. White gaja quinoa. God damn it. And now my cultural <laughs> ignorance doesn't uh, reveal whether or not I know whether or not quinoa is Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just really I'm impressed bet, that that that. I, I'm gonna go ahead and bet that quinoa is not Japanese. I'm gonna say that shit is fake. All right, you're gonna say fake, Brian. What are you feeling? I'm I'm gonna. I'm just, uh, new strategy. I agree with Justin. It's fake. <laughs> White gaja quinoa. All right, Lebro. Fake news. You're gonna say fake too. All three of you're gonna say fake. I swear. The answer is. Hey. Oh, thank goodness. Yes. Gaja translates to elephant in Japanese. Gaja. White so. elephant. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that oh, so you have to give it to somebody else if they've got a better uh, Kit Kat flavor? Yeah. All right, here yeah, we go. I'm just impressed that, like, without disturbing the flow of the show until this moment, uh, we were all able to adapt our lighting to match low bro. <laughs> yeah. Match low bro. Yeah. I understand I mean, it's just overkill, okay? Let's go ahead, just Google Lobro Watch and you <laughs> see how distinct his lighting is and know how impressive it is that we all adjusted our lighting on the fly while still playing this game. <laughs> all right, going into round four, the score is one to three to three. Lobro and Justin are in the lead uh, as we go into our next question. We're starting with Brian on this one. The flavor is rum raisin. Crushed cookies kneaded into a uniquely flavored rum raisin chocolate for a stylish finish. It's, 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 uh, I, 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 man, it's like, I, I, I want to play the game, but I know that, that, that they would come up with something so reasonable. Uh, I'm going to say it's real because I think it's a double fake out. I think I'm supposed to think it's fake because it's so obviously got to be real. All right. He says real libro. It's real. Also saying real. Justin, are you following the train or are you changing tracks? Uh, mm. Mm. So this is a real question because uh, they've definitely made any flavor that is popular into a Kit Kat out there in Japan, but I Tunnel. don't know if rum raisin is popular in Japan. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, because that's true. Because they make that's a, fair. a ton of these, especially a lot oh, of like. There's a billion. Mm. Like when I was out there, we went to like this one area in Nagano. They had five different flavors just for that town. Yeah. Like just specific to there. That being said, I'm gonna say that they don't they don't fuck with rum raisin out there in uh, Nihon. Ah, so, so 
Fake. You're going to say fake. You're going to buck the trend. All right. The correct answer is... Rio! Yeah! Look at that rum raisin. Nice. Turns out they do fuck with rum raisin. <laughs> <laughs> they do. All right. Going into round five, the score is two to four to three. Lobra is in the lead, followed by Justin. Brian, Brian, you got to catch up on this one, man. All right, all right. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll answer as fast as I can. <laughs> okay. Lober, we're going to start with you. The flavor cool. is Hello Kitty Cat, a flavor created with Hello Kitty in mind with rich white chocolate colored pink to reflect her playful nature, along with hints of catnip to give the joy that the character has in all things. Hello <sighs> Kitty Cat. This is really hard to say that it's fake to. I feel like the description's fake, but I want to believe it's real because it's Hello Kitty Cat. Mm. I'm going to say fake because I'm trusting my instincts, even though it could totally be real. All right. Lobra says I gilded the lily. Justin. That's real. Saying real. No hesitation. Brian. Catnip? Catnip? Hints of catnip. That, that yep, seems yep, like I... that seems like uh, they're they're giving us the middle finger in there. It's so obvious. Hello Kitty is on everything, so of course it's going to be on a Kit Kat. And I'm going to say because we thought of it, and I, I think that catnip is their hubris moment. That you got you Icarus looking <laughs> motherfuckers. You got too close to the sun on that who, one. Who's I'm the say they? It's fake. Who 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 is the they? <laughs> the people who made this. Well, it's BioCal Bio and, and Sam. And T Sam. T S C and Sam. Yeah. All right, so you're saying fake also. Fake, 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 fake. Okay, well, let's see who pulls ahead with this one. Where's my sounder? This one is food. Yeah! yeah. All right, all right. I'm getting it back. I'm getting it back, Justin. Three to five to three. All right, here's it. Did, did y'all know that Hello Kitty is British? Wait, yes, totally. the yeah, character, canonically, the, or yeah. the, the creation? No, the, the, the character of Hello Kitty is British, and she plays the piano. Wow. That's right. Her I watched uh, the toys that made us. Hi, look at me. I watched. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but it's content now. Moving on. Her full name is Kitty White. All right, round six. Uh, we're gonna start with Justin on this one. Your flavor is strawberry maple. The sweet tartness of strawberry is highlighted by the subtle sweetness of maple for the perfect accent. The hidden taste of almond paste gives this bar an even deeper flavor. Justin, strawberry maple. <sighs> Jesus radio. Christ, this, this is, is straight radio. up torture to worst. all of the audio listeners. Somebody somebody just vomited. <laughs> Strawberry maple, man. I, uh, God damn it. These motherfuckers. Uh, that's fake. He's going to say fake, Brian. Uh, r r r r r r real. You doing real? Lebra, what do you think? It's totally real. Totally real? Why do you think so? Um, because it, the, the description sounds real to me. All Just, right. it's easy to understand when some, someone's advertising a flavor when they're not. And so that's, that's the instinct I'm, I'm trusting here. So mm. I think that, I think that's real. All right. Marketing text. All right. Well, let's see which one this is. It's real. Yeah. Look at that special strawberry maple. So Trust right, your so instincts. If, uh, if we have any listeners in Japan, uh, uh, specifically in Tokyo, email me because I got some shit that uh, I need people to buy from Tokyo. <laughs> is it is it that whale? Delicious. Is it whale meat? Is that what you need? You need some it's whale, not whale meat? meat? Although I once did get sent whale meat by a fan, and I posted about it on. I'm Twitter. sorry, what? You really got what? whale meat? Okay. Uh, okay, can we can we unpack this? Can we talk you, about this? Yeah, if we're doing an episode where we're just gonna drop casual bombs from four or five years ago, <laughs> you've never publicly told this story. <laughs> Oh shit! Really? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, because Wait, this was four uh, yeah. or five years ago when whaling was illegal. Uh, uh, I mean, number one, it's still illegal here. So basically, somebody sends me a can of whale meat from Japan. Uh, this is before I moved to California, so it had to be at least six years ago. Uh, and I post about it on Twitter, and I get a, a, a complete phone call. with a photo. You're, you're like, a, a fan photo. sent me whale meat. Photo of the tin. Photo of the tin open, clearly whale meat in there. At which, at I did which, not open it. I did not open it. But it was, I... definitely, it, it, was definitely a fucking, it was definitely a can of whale meat where the it was very clearly visible what it was. And it, I also said, in case people couldn't read fucking uh, kanji script, this is whale meat. It was sent <laughs> from Japan. And then, I didn't realize it was illegal, and I get a frantic phone call from our co-host on the Weird Things podcast, Andrew Maine, who's like, 
Do you know that by federal penalty, you effectively just posted a ounce of weed? <laughs> <laughs> like a photo of an ounce of weed? <laughs> and it's, so this is the funny part. Is it illegal to have possession of whale meat? It can't be. It's certainly illegal enough to be posting about. It's a bad. It's bad news for old germs. So, so I deleted the photo. This was also, uh, you no know, Justin I and I it. have have uh, one of the things that that brought us together is an infatuation with telling the truth, and it was one of the very few times that I watched you just straight up fib on Twitter saying. Ha ha, LOL, that was a fake picture. <laughs> For all you people worried about it. <laughs> I, I was definitely told that it's like, that's jail time. And yeah. I'm like, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Another classic jape by your old pal, Justin Robert Young. <laughs> oh, oh, the king of comedy's here with his <laughs> jokes. Can you, can you tell us what happened to that whale meat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was fucking contraband. <laughs> you got rid of it. You, well, you I mean, flushed it. Look, hey. Well, what uh, the fuck am I going to do? Eat it? And they're like, oh, I'm so terrified about my, my safety. I mean, yeah. Look, you're the one You're the one who set up the precedent of it being like a bag of weed. If you're worried about getting <laughs> caught with it, there's one way to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm sorry, officer. I don't feel you well, me. <laughs> Oh, God. Anyway. You're so, just on the couch for like five hours. <laughs> Dude, all this whale meat's really hitting me. <laughs> My uh. face hurts. Cause oh, I that's interesting. Stop Wh laughing. Which is the greater crime? Because the whale died either way. Is, yeah. is the world better oh, because the world whale died it. and he didn't even get to bring you joy? Oh, yeah. Mari Kondo would not be happy with you unceremoniously getting rid of your whale meat. Did you thank it? Well, uh, uh, number one, I, I hope that if she got busted with fucking a uh, <laughs> uh, ounce of pot, that she would wonder whether or not it sparked joy and said goodbye to it before she flushed it down the toilets as the fucking feds were in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Well, let's see how whale meat compares to round seven on this quiz. I think we're starting with Brian on this one. Brian, why don't you tell me about – actually, why don't I tell you about the new flavor <laughs> – Butter, <laughs> a, com a combination of flavorsome butter and chocolate that seems likely, but has never been tried before. A rich flavor is added to the mellow, gentle sweetness, an item that transcends the conventional notions of chocolate. It's this butter. sounds so fucking good that <laughs> I don't want to live in a world where this is fake. So I'm going to say real, and I believe, I believe. Yeah, how's that 60-day challenge going? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think we're seeing the manifestation seeing, yeah, seeing the... Of, of what it's doing to me. All right. Uh, Lobro, what do you think about butter? Butter flavor. Marketing doesn't check out. Fake. Fake news. Fake. Ooh, fake. All right. Justin. I am agreeing with Lobro. I, <laughs> I think that this is uh, a little bit dancing around the maypole. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's see about butter. Butter's real. Yes! What? Oh, life okay, is worth living. Defense, that was the first one. <laughs> there's, there's a reason to keep on. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have to get a P.O. box so people can ship it to me. Yeah, we got to get a, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I was, oh, my God. Now the idea of people sending in Kit Kats. Okay. Oh, hey, uh, uh, that, that's the other thing is uh, you realize, like, once we get the HQ all built and safe, now we have to decorate it. And uh, we could we could put together like a Amazon wish list, and people could uh, uh, put like they could send us like I don't know autograph photos of Bruce Lee and shit that, that go up in the warrior room and all this. Anyways. That classic thing that people send in. Uh, all right, round nine. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking savage, Jesus. <laughs> uh, uh, I think this is round eight, but round eight was a duplicate question. So round nine, uh, we're gonna start with Libra on this one. I'm gonna tell Let's you a little it. bit about Molson Matcha. Atsuki red beans, puff brown rice, and yuzu peel top a base of sublime matcha, which has highly aromatic green tea leaves kneaded into the chocolate. Enjoy the unique texture and combination of ingredients with their abundance of traditional Japanese elements. It's Molson Matcha. If this is fake, they did a good job calling this real. Calling it real. All right. Justin, matcha. Uh, Justin, you know what, what to do. What the fuck is Molson supposed to do? <laughs> no one knows. So it says there's a little R circle, so it makes it seem like it's like a trademark or a brand name. I'm going to say that. I think you can 
see it. It's on the thing. So hopefully, Molson Matcha. Is I'm gonna say it's real. You're gonna say it's real. Now you were in Japan more recently than all of us. Did you have any matcha? While you do you know matcha? <laughs> uh, you know I don't me? know which one's that. Okay, never mind. Brian. Do you know them personally? <laughs> it's, it's, you oh, know what? Oh, oh, oh I, I'm sorry. Of the Shinjuku matcha? It's a very common food. What are you talking about? All right, Brian. I don't know, man. I don't know what I ate. Like, you, like, all right, for real. This is like a thing in Japan. You just walk into a bar and they just give you a thing. Like like, sure. like a bar the way that we know in, in America doesn't exist. Like, like you have to either pay for your seat or they just give you food. Along with your payment. So I ate a ton of shit that I had no idea what it was, nor did I have the capacity to have them explain it to me. Oh, fascinating. All right, Brian. It's time for me to play tactically. After being in last place and surpassing just into second place. That's right, five to seven. I feel like I have to take a chance that this is fake so I can overtake Lobro. All right. Justin, this is the moment of truth. Uh oh. Game theory, Brian. Sometimes he's here, sometimes he's not, buddy. At the end of the game. Good luck, Brian. All right. The correct answer is real. Oh, damn, damn. Matcha is uh, green tea, so it's a very common flavor. Matcha. Oh, gotcha. That's why I asked the question. All right. Round eight has supposedly been fixed. It has been. All right. We'll jump back to round eight for round nine. Uh, Justin, this one's going to you first. I'm going to tell you about cotton candy, a flavor inspired by the tastes of the fairground. White chocolate flavored with cotton candy crystals to give it the texture you know and love from your childhood to bring you back to a more innocent time. It's Kit Kat cotton candy. Fake. Saying fake. Why do you say fake? Because, number one, this seems like a very American memory. I don't quite know if it does translate exactly into Japanese culture, and I do know that Japanese culture is very specific. Uh, number two, what I said with number one. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I have a number right. two. Right. Uh, uh, number, uh, two. Uh, number two, butter was real, which means this has to be fake. It's so obvious <laughs> that it has to be real, and they're only going to give us one of those that's real, and the other one has to be fake, so I'm going to say it's fake. Okay, a very specific game theory Brushwood is saying fake. <laughs> Low bro. Fake There's, news. You're also saying fake. They're all going fake. Dude, it can't be real. The the text, it just, it. I'm not sold, man. I'm just not sold. Interesting. All right. Now, by the way, if that shit got popular in Japan, this would be a great Kit Kat. It would taste delicious. <laughs> it's amazing. But, but I don't think it, it's real. Wouldn't it just be sugar? In cotton candy, just sugar? Yeah. It's just, I, I'm, no, but, but it's I don't know the, the answer to the, here. The, but the I'm texture just... and the crunch, and it's it's the, the spun granulated, it's it's mouthfeel. Yeah, you can okay, appreciate. sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, mouthfeel. I'm a big just proponent of mouthfeel. Oh, yeah. All right, well, the correct Eat answer food. is... Fake! Yeah! All right, going into our last round, the score is six to eight to five. Mm. And we're going into our- I feel like this is so much more intense with the low bro lighting. <laughs> yeah, it really, <laughs> it really is. Can you save this <laughs> preset? <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not trying to shit on you, low bro, but I feel like no, I can give advice like right now. Like, like this is, like, like your lighting is a part of the aesthetic. I, it I, is. I understand yes. part of it. Thank you. I really like, like that, man. You also- can't be in this lighting, which is half rave, half submarine uh, uh, and, and and not and, like be in the business. But but it's like half rave, half submarine and all blown out. I just realized you will never age. You might be 73 <laughs> right now and I would never know. <laughs> like, this is amazing. Yeah, Nailed look it. bro, the last person to fight in the Civil War still watches <laughs> <laughs> on Twitch daily. <laughs> Oh, all right. We're going into our last round because it is six to eight to five. Uh, we are, uh, of course, as we always do in our final rounds, doing extra points. And uh, we have to go to NASA for this. This one's going to be worth four points. Oh, my so gosh. This is anybody's game on this final round here. Uh, this is going to be question 17. You can ignore that part. The flavor is basashi. Kit Kat brings all the flavor of the Japanese delicacy basashi in a candy treat, a rich, well-marbled meat flavor with garlic, soy sauce, and Japanese horseradish. Freeze for 20 minutes before eating for a more authentic experience. We're going to start with Brian on this one. Real, 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 real. It's so real. He says it's real. All right, Lobra. 
I'm calling real on this one. Okay, it just yeah. sounds good. Old like, game theory, like low bro. Range. I would try this. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I, if I, I, if I could be wrong here. <laughs> But even if I get this wrong, I don't lose, right? Oh, so, oh, did you figure that out, GT? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Game three, low, bro. He, it's real, okay? <laughs> A quick study. Now, Justin, if you if if you yeah. buck the trend here, you could pull it out. Uh, what do you think about Basashi flavored Kit Kat? Game theory, jury. He doesn't exist. Real. <laughs> <laughs> Honor to the end. That's what I love about non-game theory, Jerry. All right. The correct answer is... Fish! Oh, you should have GTJ'd! Oh! What? You, you should have GTJ'd instead of your GTFO'd! Oh! Basashi is raw horse meat. Fuck this. I'm turning off my goddamn light. Oh. Yeah, in protest. <laughs> I'm going to go to normal lighting. He's like, I don't trust Lobro anymore. <laughs> flat, flat lighting there. Oh, God. Let's see right here. I got the thing here. Okay. Uh, doesn't work. Sorry. <laughs> well, congratulations to Lobro for winning six to eight to five. Well done. Uh, thank you again to Biocow and TSCN Sam for making this. We're going to send them uh, sticker packs from stickersordiaf.com. Thank you. If you have a game or an idea for a game, a list of data, a lot, a lot of that is, is, is enough raw material to make something, uh, send it in mail, M-A-I-L, at nightattack.tv. If we use your stuff, we will send you a sticker pack, just like we're going to send Biocow and Sam. Uh, hey, Lobro, do you have to, do you have to uh, uh, get to real work, or can you hang around as we go into uh, a little segment we call Diamond Time? I'm super chill. Whatever you guys are down for, I'm down for. Yeah. Well, Sweet. then let's uh, – let's uh, Diamond Time, of course, is the opportunity for us to shout out your projects. Head on over to diamondclub.reddit.com. Oh, you. You'll find a sticky post right at the top. The top three entries always get shouted out live right up here on the air. That's and right. we begin with – uh, Dr. Stooge. Hey, Diamond Club, I have a small soccer podcast named Red Bull Rant, focusing on the New York Red Bulls of Major League Soccer. And this upcoming Thursday, the 28th, is our 2019 season preview show. If you're interested, please check us out at patreon.com slash Red Bull Rant. Oh, oh, Patreon is, oh, there it says they're all busy banking. Don't, I think, I don't, need... don't get me started. I think they're working on their MySQL tonight. <laughs> hey, everyone. Open Bayou here, writes Open Bayou. I'm finally streaming on Twitch, and I need the help of Diamond Club. I'm streaming computer programming, and it's not as popular as Apex or uh, Fallout 76. So please help my channel at twitch.tv slash Open Bayou. When I stream, you can watch five minutes of my stream on Twitch, and they count it as a viewer. All the help is greatly appreciated. Diamond. Hells yeah, man. <clears throat> uh, Reject69187 says, Hey, Diamond Club, are we, are we hyped for South by So Wasted? So am I, except I can't go. So I want to give away two tickets to the show at the North Door. Hit me up if you want to go but couldn't afford it, and I will work it out with you. Diamond Club for life, not a cult. Uh, debatable. Uh, that is uh, <laughs> that is slash you slash reject69187. Hit them up on Twitter. Uh, sorry, on, on Reddit. And, uh, dude, that's fantastic. That's the, uh, that's the one thing that I wanted to start. I, I wanted to make sure that, that, that we sold the ones that we could sell uh, so that nobody held off for the chance of winning ones. But as we get really close, like I want to start, I want to start doing like where radio DJ is giving away, uh, you know, have people, uh, 12th it, caller. It, show of the decade, 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 decade. But you can win tickets, 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 tickets. tickets, tickets. If you call in right now, now. <laughs> Come on, feel the noise. <laughs> Girls, rock your boys. That song will not be played. <laughs> Hashtag not a cult. But you can talk about how it's not played. That South by so wasted. Uh, you want to do some uh, uh, viewer mail? 
Uh, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, uh, join us in the Diamond Club. That's right. Uh, just one more reminder. Next week, movie draft. So, movie draft is next week. All right. Now, uh, yeah, and by the way, if you've never played along at home, it really is genuinely fun to play along at home. I remember there have been several years that I was disappointed in my own performance in the in the big game, and I made an account and played along at home and and, and got to correct what I thought were all my mistakes, and I did even worse. So, <laughs> <laughs> but 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 it, it's a lot of fun to have have a dog in the fight. So it's worth tuning in live and and being able to participate in the chat realm league that's right uh all right yeah let's uh let's open up the mailbag join us for drinks in the diamond club in the diamond club mm, that sounds grand that does sound very grand all right our first email comes to us from blake this was actually sent to justin and i believe he forwarded it to us uh blake says this video popped up randomly on my youtube feed today and brought me a smile which was very much needed indeed without going into too much detail i'm going through a bit of yield shit at the moment and what you mike tv brian andrew bryce what all y'all do uh uh, really helps sometimes, so I just wanted to say thank you. And then uh, they link to uh, the uh, country cover of Rifle Burst. Whoa! From uh, from many years ago. Remember this? <laughs> yes. Oh, me. You have ever heard? <laughs> it's got gunshots. What do y'all know harder than that? It's got twelve thousand views. Check that out. <laughs> uh, uh, again, oh. both Brian and I noticeably different uh, now than we are then. Mike TV, exactly. <laughs> He's a fucking vampire. Same. He's clearly a vampire, right? Age. Fucking vampire. Nobody can tell me different. That man has not aged ever. Y'all, this was f almost five years ago. <laughs> oh, wow. From Night Attack 18. Oh, my God. I can't... Wow! I can't. Oh, that's right. That's that. when we did our uni unity sand unity with be sand. with bottle caps. <laughs> right. we, we blended our bottle caps together. We became married as podcast hosts. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, because I was making fun of my brother's wedding. <laughs> yeah. <That's> right. <laughs> Uh, but him and his wife heard about it. They weren't pleased. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strong tradition of oversharing that yeah. we have here. Wait, is this? Uh, yeah, they're like, why are you shitting on our wedding? Like, in front of strangers. <laughs> was this? Was this the? I talked to them more than I talked to you. So. Was, was this the brother who just produced your comedy album? <laughs> it was. It was. Uh, to be fair, though, uh, he, he found it funnier than she did. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we got another question here. Uh, this may be, may be a, little, a little out of the out of the ordinary. Have you ever eaten fried rice? Regards, Renaigu. Brian, oh my God. have you eaten fried rice? I, I love fried rice. Fried it's, rice is it's great. It's the best rice there is. Justin. I mean, like, I feel like, is this like some South Park bit or something? It's an easy like, yes or no like question. A... Justin. Yeah, of course. Lobra. Fried rice is awesome. It's the best. There you go. It's so good. Got him. Got he. Got him. Got he. All right. Uh, uh, no, we did that one last week. All right. One last one here from Roman. Uh, Roman writes, Dear Night Attackers, Roman from Scoop Fest here. I remember Roman. Oh, yeah. Uh, last weekend, I went on our annual Polar Run Road Rally from Minnesota to the UP of Michigan. 30 teams traverse snowy roads, competing, completing tasks at checkpoints, and generally running rampant across small town America. I got to drive my buddy's Jeep on a forgotten back roads through two or three feet of untouched snow. In the end, we all met up at a hotel to drink together. It's pretty awesome. This year, I convinced my team, the four amigos, to get a handful of dollar coins and a bag to keep them in. Yes! Amusingly, yes! everyone but me was using an Oakley sunglasses bag. We <laughs> spent the weekend betting on everything in sight, especially our traditional Tiger Woods 2004 matches. The highlight of betting was getting uh, Brandon to solicit a ride backseat on a snowmobile topless for $2. This is while it was <laughs> negative six degrees outside. This is I, I, I this is our greatest gift. This is our legacy, Justin. Is is everybody go out, get a bag, go to the bank, get thirty dollars in dollar coins, and make nothing but dollar bets on on nonsense all day. It's the best <laughs> feeling in the world. After approaching every group of snowmobilers in the ball in the bar, he finally found a drunk cougar that would do it. Afterwards, he gleefully collected our dollars and said, "These will help. I had to buy her and her friends around." My friends all loved it so much that they promised to bring their coin bag whenever we hang out from now on. Spreading the love a dollar at a time, Roman. Thank you, Roman. 
Dude, uh, that's great. So yeah, yeah, this is uh, uh, Lobro, a, a, a tradition that Brian and I started because we are both drunks and uh, uh, need something to talk about. But uh, if you're just hanging out with a friend, always bet a dollar on anything. <laughs> like, literally, yeah, you're like, not... You're not, you're like, like you're watching like football or football on at a bar. You can hate football, right? That, that's almost too easy, right? Like like if you need if you need to start there, that's fine. But you know you really got it where it's like uh, okay, that chick, her mother, born east or west of the Mississippi, and then yeah. and, and on it goes. <laughs> and then you have okay. to go over and approach, and and you, and it's great when there are stakes. And even if you're not playing, as someone who's been a, a spectator to this many times, it's fun to just watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to just watch. <laughs> Uh, so thank you, uh, oh, everybody who sends in. Sad that you're making a million dollar bets. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone who sends emails in. Please send more in. We love all these. Mail, M A I L, at nightattack.tv. Send them in, send them in. Yeah, dude. Uh, you guys ask good and, questions. By the way, uh, this is a gigantic disappointment. I'm disappointed in our audience. Uh, I'm disappointed in everybody who would email in. I, I know exactly what you're if about not, to say. No, 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 no magic questions. questions. No magic questions. Yeah, yeah. Number one magic podcast. On the internet, uh, uh, by by you guys not emailing magic questions in, uh, I already once had the number one magic podcast. I was very excited that I again had the number one magic podcast <laughs> by you guys uh, uh, emailing in a a magic question. But uh, apparently, you guys don't like me or mm. the show. So. Oh, oh. Uh, I mean, it's true. Like, it, it sounds harsh, but mathematically, it works out. I mean, we have zero emails about it, so I, you know, talk, take it up to science stuff. It was a good run. I had a good run. Uh, hot googly dig dog. Uh, what did we learn today, Mr. Justin Robert Young? Well, hot, yeah, man. We learned that uh, <laughs> it's good to talk to your friends and others when you're in a time of anxiety. <laughs> we learned that uh, Lobro, very quick to jump on the game theory hype train. <laughs> he definitely solved that riddle. as uh, and, and you should have. We learned that twitch.tv slash lowbrowatch is a must follow. Oh, hey, uh, also I learned that I have a badass new deck on Hearthstone with a 70% win rate, and I'm tearing up the standard uh, uh, ladder. I, I gotta share that in the after show. We are flex, but okay. We look at that uh, South by So Wasted uh, on March 9th. Podcastlink.com slash night attack. You will be live in person. Tom's thumb. Tom's thumb. Uh, hey, we love you guys. Do us a favor. Die in a fire. See you next Tuesday. Oh, wait. Who was the? The Big Boss. Uh, oh, my gosh. Still Scandrel. Scandrel. Thank you, everybody. Oh, man. Missed opportunity. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack, night attack, night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>